is when you get all the knowledge and get all the game and all that's cool. It's great. Believe me, it's great just to know it. But if you don't really every day put it into action, it's a waste of time. And I wasted a little time. You know, I've been hauling the last couple years, but man, I could be out of this world, really. You know, but that's just chilling when you independent and you don't need a job, but you can do anything you want to do. And you've been doing that for so long. It's just like, I'm not the richest, but I'm good. You know what I'm saying? Like, because to me, it ain't even about rich. But the last few years, what I had to realize to get real power, I had to get super wealthy. So when I start thinking about wealth, that's when I stop caring about money because if you want to be a real wealth, you can't care about money. See, when we're in the streets, rich, we, we care about being rich because we like to see money up under our bed, in the bank. We can go pull it out. You know, boys showing it. You know, that's what boys doing now. You know, it's just like really street dudes that's just getting more money than they ever seen, so that's why they flash it, you know, because boys were doing that when they got $100, they would flash it. So that's why you see so many rappers that show their money because really, mentally, they still that trapper, rap rap dude, but they just getting some money on another level. That's why a lot of them snitch on themselves because they still really want to be that trapper dude instead of being like, man, I'm an entity now, I'm a business. I don't, all that dumb stuff is out the window. But that's another show for another day. But you got to apply it. And that's another thing that Wealth is Gangsta I will be talking about is how we're going to apply the pressure, apply the knowledge. We're going to make moves. You're going to see me make moves. I'm going to show some moves that I'm making. I'm going to show properties that I done bought or that we already have that we're going to build on. And I'm going to take you inside my mind just to show you that I'm here to represent Boiler, Texas, like 2,000 people. Temple, Texas. Now probably about 80 or 90. I don't know. But we can do exactly what they're doing in them big cities. And that's one thing I like about being, when I go to the cities, that's why I always tell my partners we got to travel. Because when I go to the cities, like in Temple, we can ride around, unless we know a white guy somewhere, and there's probably a couple of them, we'll never see a millionaire. When I'm in, in Atlanta, when I'm in Miami, when I'm in Cali, you just trip over and they, oh, yeah, man, I do this. Yeah, oh, shit. Yeah, I make 800000 a year. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Like... Like you, what we see every day is just people that just living to get by, just going to work, doing their little struggles, hustling, doing whatever they're doing, or just receiving checks from the government. You know, that's like a dude with a Wilson art job, or you know, like that's the peak where I'm from. You know what I'm saying? Like that's the peak. So I'm here, even with my CEO Youth League, that's for the kids. Instead of all this pop Warner football, basketball. I want to show kids that at that same age, I can show you how to make money right now. They got a 1% chance, really less than that. I, t I tell people all the time, it's a million kids wake up every day working out for 400 positions in professional sports. And even when you get in there, it's a white man telling you what you better do or better not say about this or he going to kick you out like Kaepernick. You know what I'm saying? So my real power, especially with the CEO Youth League, I'm going to get with kids, and we're going to show them right now what, bit, what you like to do. Are you like video game? Make one. Why don't you go to school, get the te technology for that, and make your own game. So if you're playing games all day, you doing what you love. And you making big money. I don't, got no, I don't got no problem with what nobody do. I just want you to make money off what you do, what you love to do. So if you love to play video game, what's wrong with it? You like to bake? Bake, let's bake, let's bake cakes. Let's get, open up a bakery. You like, y'all, you fix cars? Let's open up a mechanic store. We, we ain't got to open up a shop all the time. We start off in the yard just promoting. Like, we, we start everything from the mud here. I got a thrift store. We started from the mud. Just, just you know, I started selling out a, a rental house, and I had that motherfucker like a storage. And I had weekend sales every weekend until the city told me that I ain't supposed to do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, we, so we, it, it ain't about if you got to, I, I tell people all the time, I won't, I'd rather have a person that's broke with the right mentality than that's got a bunch of money with the wrong mentality. Because I can't do nothing with you, with you. If you got the wrong mentality, I can't do nothing with you no matter if you broke or rich, or got some money. So I'd rather have you just broke and got the right mentality and you focus and every dollar you get, we, we put into this. Are oh, you only going to make $100 this week? Okay, let's live off 20 and, and, and invest 80. 
Oh, no, that's too much. Oh, you're going to be struggling, huh? Yeah, you got to struggle to get somewhere. You know, it's been times where I, I didn't put, made 10000 off something, spent 9000 or more right back in investments. Once again, I said that in another video. Shout out to Dame Dash. That's where I got that game from. We don't care about money over here because your money got to go get more money. I don't want to shout. I, the only thing you're going to ever see me in is real and real, wealth is gangster, 1100 or somebody I'm associated with. Be original, be yourself. Shout out to my boy Scotty. You know what I'm saying? B O M. Like, only people I'm attached to is what you're going to see me wear. And like I, and like I said in, the, in another video, I want to get past this part because this is my hoodie, but I don't own a field that made this cotton. You feel me? That's what we got. We got. We got to go there. I, I need to own the field that made this, and then this will be truly mine. So that's what I say. Even when you independent, you still depend on the system. You know what I'm saying? So I don't ever want to get it twisted. Like we don't do. We don't need them. We should. They built this hundreds of years ago. We ain't, we ain't got no choice but to follow certain rules. But in the mix of that, we can make our own rules. That's the journey I've been on for years and years, but the last couple years with a lot of guidance that I done got from mentors, some of, some of them that I've talked to, talked to and some of them that I never talked to, some I met, some I never met, some I do business with, some that don't know me from a can of paint on the wall, you know what I'm saying, from nothing. But that's why I be tripping when I be saying people, will you mentor me, man? Uh, get on their live or go to their videos. That's the mentor. That's free mentorship just to get started. Just start with that. And then once you get your money right, go in there and talk talk that talk. They'll listen then. But, uh, yeah, so wealth shaming, we're going to be talking about that. That's going to be, I'm going to be having, I'm going to have a little segment in my little uh, weekly podcast. We're going to talk about that maybe every week, depending on situations. But yeah, I don't want to hold you all day, man. It's, it's Gangsta T, man. Tony Ture. The new book coming soon. The streets lied to us, or it might be out already, depending on when you see in this video. Wealthisgangsta.com, Wealth is, uh, Wealth is on IG, Wealth is Gangsta on Facebook. Follow the movement, get in tune with it. And like I say, soon we'll be having different shows coming on the YouTube, so this won't just be me posting videos. I'm gonna have a reality show just showing the daily grind of different entrepreneurs. I'm gonna have a, a uh, gangster, gangster dishes, a cooking show. So we building this into a network. It's not like just no random podcasting. I'm have I got a uh, fixing appliances show coming with my boy Bob, my partner with the thrift store. That's what he does. He fix washers and dryers. So I'll, I'll be showing uh, behind the scenes of him just building it, fixing it. You going in the mind of him while he fixing that. So we got a lot coming. This is gonna be a network. This is not just a podcast. I just got a podcast that's on the network. You get it. But your wealth is gangster.com, man. Light them.